This video displays a series of images designed to help visualize the relationship between population density and social networks across the Southwest Social Networks project area through time. Each image represents one of six 50-year intervals between AD 1200 and 1500, with the date range indicated by the red bar at the bottom of the video. For each slide, the map on the right shows estimated population density, with darker colors representing more people. The maps on the left show network connections between pairs of sites based on strong similarities in the proportions of decorated ceramic wares recovered at those sites. The lines are color-coded based on physical distance between sites, with white representing short-distance ties and the darkest blue representing long-distance ties exceeding 250 kilometers. As we see for both the AD 1200 to 1250 and 1250 to 1300 intervals, the northern half of the southwest was characterized by moderate population density, but a large number of network connections, many of which connect sites that are separated by several days travel. Population density is somewhat greater in the south, but network connections appear to largely remain within major river valleys. The last quarter of the 13th century, however, was a period of dramatic change in the study area. The period after AD 1275 was marked by the depopulation of much of northeastern Arizona, including the Cayenta region. A number of lines of archaeological evidence suggest that many people who left the Cayenta region at this time immigrated into a number of locations in central and southern Arizona as well as southwestern New Mexico. As the next map shows, the period after this long-distance migration was marked by dramatically different patterns in terms of both population density and network connections. After 1300, the northern southwest was characterized by a few dense clusters of population surrounded by relatively empty areas. We also see far fewer long-distance network connections in the north. At the same time, the southern southwest saw a trend toward increasing long-distance connections, including many connections among areas that had largely been distinct prior to the arrival of northern migrants. The trend toward increasing isolation in the north and increasing long-distance network connections in the south continues into the AD 1350-1400 to 1400 interval. By AD 1400, we see population decline in both the northern and especially the southern southwest. We also see a decline in the number of network connections in the south as the total number of occupied sites decreases. In the north, network connections are almost exclusively limited to short-distance ties among sites in the same region. Finally, by the AD 1450 to 1500 interval, large sedentary populations are limited to those areas around the contemporary Pueblo communities of Hopi and Zuni, both of which persist to this day. 